and this weekend we have a lot to talk about <laughs> look man it's rookie camp all right it's not a lot going on for rookie camp um but we'll discuss some takeaways from rookie camp as much as we can realistically mm-hmm. so um yeah let's talk about it yeah, uh, I think the number one takeaway is there's a heated battle for long snapper uh, with Thomas Fletcher and J.J. Jansen. Ooh. So that's exciting. Um, you know, outside of that, um, we have Brady Christensen. You know, they, they say they're going to be moving him around the line, uh, playing him everywhere but center, basically, uh, to try and get a look at him to see – you know, where he best fits. They, they want him to play left tackle. Uh, but, you know, the Matt Rule said he believes that he can be an elite guard if tackle doesn't work out. Okay. Uh, you know, personally, I think that, that guard is probably the the way to go there. Uh, Deontay Brown, the other guard that they drafted. So, I mean, really, the, the stories are at the uh, on the O-line, line. the interior yeah. O-line. Deontay Brown came in at 347 pounds. Uh, they said that they've got a dietitian working with him to try and keep his weight under control. Because, I mean, that sounds like a lot right like it sounds like maybe he's getting out of control but at the senior bowl he was actually he actually weighed in at 364 i believe so he's gotten it down yeah uh gotten it down since then and you know they're working with him to keep that in in check uh i think if he can keep it under control you know i think that that'll be a steal for carolina on the line um outside of that i mean there's not really a whole lot that 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 really came out about uh the rookie camp there was some news about rookie numbers um you know jc horn and there were there was some i guess some people were uh worried that maybe he was going to try to wear number one cause, you know that was cam's number and jc wore that in college but he came out and said he's going to wear number eight to honor kobe so i mean man, there's if, that i guess man if they let anybody wear cam's number if that number is not retired man i I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. I, I would never look at that organization the same the same way again. <laughs> okay, that is Cam's number. It should be retired. Nobody else should be able to wear number one. I mean, I, I tend to agree, but you know, obviously the Panthers organization doesn't feel that way about Cam, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Uh, I think the the other thing to look forward to, and this is right along the same lines, uh, they are going to be setting up some scrimmages or practices with the the Colts, uh, so that'll be a good test for the O line. Uh, you know, the Colts have DeForest Buckner. They drafted Quiddy Pay. They drafted Deo Odango. Uh, so I think, you know, th- you'll get a better idea of what you have in, in not only Christensen and Brown, but also Elfline and Cameron Irving. And, <laughs> you know, that's right. That's right. And Greg Little. Um, you know, you just want to get a better idea of what you have on the O-line. I suspect it's still going to be a major issue this year, but you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta get to work on it. Right. Yeah. 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 The, the real talk for you guys is going to be when I, I'm not sure who, who is, is everybody showing up to OTAs for you guys? I'm, I'm not even sure. Yeah, I think so. I think so. OTA in, in, in training camp. All right. Uh, bottom line, we have to see what Sam Donald looks like. That, yeah. That's, I mean, that it, it starts with Sam Donald. Then, then, I would say O-line second, and then everything else can work itself out. I'm not worried about wide receivers. I'm really not worried about the defense. The defense is coming along fine. They're going yeah. They're going to keep – they're trending in the right direction. So I'm not worried about that. It's quarterback and O-line. That's, that's where it's at. Yeah, they've got they've got a lot of talent on the defense. I think, you know, I, I trust in where they're going on defense uh, outside of what they, they just signed, Delano Hill, um, who's who was drafted in the third round in Seattle. Never really lived up to that. Didn't play a whole lot, but – you know, when you play, it didn't really play well. Right. Uh, but he's getting another shot because, you know, Scott Fitter came from Seattle. So, I mean, whatever. That's fine. But outside of, you know, the defense, I think, will be fine. Uh, the wide receivers are fine. You know, Christian McCaffrey is Christian McCaffrey, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it comes down to whether the O-line can protect and if Sam can get it together if he's got some protection. That's what the whole season is coming down to. Yeah. If Bray Christensen, like you said, ideally – I mean, well, if he can make, if he can play a left tackle, that'd be great. But mm-hmm. ideally, if he if he's great at interior, like you know that left or right guard, and Deontay Brown can play the other side. Oh man, that'd be such a boost. That mm-hmm. would be such a boost to the O line. Um, still need some work on, on left tackle and, and maybe center. Yeah. Um, unless Paradis can get it together this year, uh, I'm not completely shutting the door on Paradis. I know he had an awful year last year, but 
I, I don't know, man. Like maybe the injuries took something from him that he can't get back. I don't know, but yeah, I want I want to see him one more year, see if he can get it back because he's a good center when he's when he's a hundred percent. Well, and if Christensen and, and Deontay Brown can play, I mean, you know, on the O line, it's not about any one player's uh, you know ability. Right. It's about how you play together as a group. Yeah. So whether Paradis you know returns to his Broncos form or not, you know, if you have more talent around him, you know, better players around him, he'll play better. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but we'll see. We'll see on them. It's just, you know, I, I don't think you're going to see much in, you know, you're not going to get much out of rookie camp. You're going to get a little more out of the OTAs and, and scrimmages with the Colts. But like you said, I mean, for for this group, wh- where the issues are, you really have to see them in live games. Yeah. All right. If you made it this far, thank you. Okay. Uh, do us a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. And if you're not new here and you would like to support, thank you very much. (laughs) There are three ways to do that. Right above me here, we have patreon.com slash LBHT show. We have two tiers, $3 tier and the $10 tier. Okay, both tiers will get you access to our overtime show. Uh, which happens every Wednesday night right after our live show, which starts at 7 p.m. Be sure to tune in. Also, both tiers will make you eligible for our fantasy football and our Pick'ems League. Um, Previously, it was only just the $10 tier that had access to both. Now we're letting both tiers do that. So a little added added incentive to sign up. And for a limited time, if you sign up for the $10 tier, you will get one of these nice shiny coins okay very limited only a few left once they're gone they're gone um and when they're gone we'll have something else for the ten dollar tier but it won't be that (laughs) the second way to support is right above b that's our cash app dollar sign lbht show third way to donate right below us that's our shop lbhtshow.com forward slash shop okay we have all kinds of merch on there me and b are wearing some right now if you like what you see that's our that's our logo right there you get get yourself a nice uh nice beanie get a hoodie it's you know sometimes coming we have tanks we got t-shirts we have shorts all kinds of good stuff all right so if you see something that you like go ahead and make that purchase man uh every dollar that you spend goes right back into the show all right And we're growing every day. We thank you guys for your support. And we will see you in the next video. Peace out.